Number two, iron. Iron is not natural to the earth. It did not form on the earth, but came down to earth from outer space. This may sound strange. That's number one. I mean, it's, this is a big fat lie. The science doesn't say that iron was not or not exist in the earth. That would be stupid because the magma is full of iron. What the science they say or scientist that there is part of the iron we have in the crust of the earth is coming from the outer space. So right away they start feeding you with stupid information. So never trust what they say. Go investigate yourself and don't accept what they say to you ever unless you check it out. Let's go back to zero. Down to earth from outer space. This may sound strange, but it's true. Scientists have found that billions of years ago, the earth was stuck by meteorites. Okay. He just said that scientists, they found that this has happened billions of years ago. But the Quran speak that Allah created the earth in six days. So how you speak about six billions years ago? Hmm. Interesting. These meteorites were carrying iron from distant stars, which had exploded. The Quran says the following on the origin of iron. We sent down iron with its great inherent strength and its many benefits for humankind. If you go and read the interpretation of this verse, you will see the strength here is about a human being. He can chop the head of a human being with it. So when you speak about strength, why you don't explain what the strength is talking about? Secondly, now he claim that the verse saying that Allah, he sent down the iron. And this is what scientists, they say that iron is coming from the outer space. And again, we explain that this is not really true because the magma, which is in the center of the earth, has a lot of iron. Actually, it's almost all of it is iron. So this is a very stupid statement, but let us go with the stupid statement so we can get it busted at the end. God uses the words sent down for iron. God, he used the word sent down to the iron. What does that mean? It's clear from the verse that iron is not an earthly material, but was sent down for the benefit of humanity. All right. So it's clear from the verse that when you say sent down, that's mean Allah, he mean that it was not in the earth and Allah, he sent it down. But this is really a fake and it's a false uh, uh, statement because everything in the Quran is sent down. Rain is sent down. Hail he sent down. Uh, 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 even mountains he placed it in the earth even feather Allah he sent it down let us go to the Quran this is the verse you are talking about uh, where it says that Allah he sent down in the same verse we send down our we send our messengers okay and then we send down the balance and the scriptures you see here it says uh, the translation says, and we reveal to them. But in fact, in Arabic, it says, If you change the translator, and we will do that in the front of you, just to show you how Muslims, they play with the translation. From a translator to translator, the whole word is changed. Yusuf Ali, and this is a Muslim translator, you will see here, okay? And we send our, we send uh, after time, uh, after time, our uh, messengers with a clear sign, and we send down with them, the book but did the messenger send down from did muhammad was was muhammad in heaven and he sent down that's it will be weird so this is nothing to do with physically sending down and we send down the mizan the balance the mizan is the scale did allah send the scale really for us what is that this is a metaphorical statement and then he says and we send down the iron so we can kill people for mighty war so they fabricate a translation and they change it for the sake of the benefit of fooling you now let us see more evidence chapter 7 verse number 26 Allah he claimed that he sent down feather you see in the translation they don't say feather but the fact in Arabic it says feather it says Ya Bani Adam قد أنزلنا عليكم لباسا يواري سوآتكم وريشا وريش ريش in Arabic is a feather so why we don't say 
now we make a miracle that Allah he is the one who sent us feather and the chicken used to be without feather but Allah he sent it free shipping and handling to the chicken and then she did wear it O children of Adam we have revealed to you into you remained on the cancel of your shame false stupid translation let us change the translator and you will see how the translation change here we go the front translator the front translator the front words totally everything change all right we have bestowed remained upon you to cover your shame it says he bestowed but the fact it says literally we sent down change the translation so if, if we go here just from here did Allah send us really clothes to cover our ourselves here we go it says Allah he sent down I mean, they try always to to fabricate things which is not exist in the Quran in order to make you believe in such a thing. We send down clothing to cover you. By the way, it's, again, it doesn't say clothing; it says feather. But they will say, okay, they meant they meant uh, clothing. I, I, I don't know what what they mean. He said feather. Just to translate the word feather. I, I don't know which translation he will get it right. But let us give it a try. So we might find an honest translator who have some dignity to translate it in correct way. Um, maybe we can find somebody. All right. Uh, we send, yeah, not until now, not even one of them saying the word thither. But as you see here, it says we send down, we send down. So why, why you don't say that this is a miracle from Allah? So Allah, he sent down the books. Allah he sent down the, the angels, Allah he sent down uh, etc. And Allah he sent down the feather, Allah sent down the clothing, but suddenly it is the iron. Same time, when you speak about the creation of the earth and you say we sent down the iron, that means the earth was with zero iron as he claimed in the video. So when he sent down, if you go back to this verse, you will see. It says, we sent down for you, a human, which means a human is already exist. We sent down for you, a human, what we send. We send messengers, and then we send books, and then we send iron. So iron was sent before, after the messengers and after the book. To who? To the human. But a human being in his creation in his blood there's iron actually if you have a problem with iron in your, in your body you die so if we say that a human being is exist and then Allah he sent the iron down that's mean you know we human we do not need iron to live and this is absolutely false so as you see they fabricate a statement just to make you believe in such a thing uh, if we go in the hadith Uh, we will find this hadith this is your prophet explaining how he Allah supposedly created things in order and as you see the first thing Allah he created was the clay And the second thing, it was the mountain. And the third thing is the trees. And in Monday, uh, it was uh, the, the trees, and then he created all things in Thailand and labor. And in Tuesday, he created the light. Sorry, in Tuesday, he created labor, and then in, in, in Wednesday, he created the light. And then he caused animals to spread on th in, in Thursday. And he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. So how you say to us six uh, what, or like what, billions of years ago when your prophet is speaking clearly that this is the creation of Allah happened in Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And by the way, here the hadith proven Muhammad to be a false prophet because the Quran says Allah created the heaven and the earth and everything in six days. But the total here is Saturday and with Friday, which means the total is seven days proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. I cannot trust a Muslim trying to explain Islam for us 
because this is all is a propaganda just to fool you and they are looking for a fool to take the bait don't trust search study yourself even the Muslim they will say to you do you know what is the number of the Quran verse in the chapter of the iron that is even that one is very easy to answer because the order of the Quran today is not according to Allah how he sent it because the Muslims they change the Quran and all the Muslims agree that the order of the Quran today have nothing to do with the order which Allah Prophet supposed to receive the order today they have is according to Uthman not according to Allah so as you see fact number two about the Aaron it was hocus and false unless they accept that Allah he uh, send the Aaron to kill each other is what he meant and Allah he sent the books and he sent the messengers so Muhammad he came from heaven he is not a human and Allah he sent the scale and Allah he sent feather and Allah sent the clothing that will be funny and that will be hilarious but a desperate religion do desperate measure to convert people follow with me with more videos and if you like to learn more feel free to read my books my books is translated to many many languages including Spanish English and German and Dutch and etc uh, feel free to learn and feel free to download my videos my videos is for free and you know uh, I don't mind people uh, downloading my videos and sharing them around actually I encourage you to do so because that will be uh, uh, helpful for many so they can learn about this cult and nobody can fool them always always ask yourself if Islam is a decent religion why they are lying here saying things which is not a true why they are trying to make the Quran sound different from what it's meant why even they don't even match with the interpretation of the Quran according to the scholars because simply they are desperate trying to prove their cult and the cult is easy to prove to be cult especially if you try to sponsor it by lies to make it look like scientifically true thank you very much and feel free to join us and to watch more videos or to read my books rise is lord islam is false thank you very much and now we will go to the fact number three and until now i do not know what it is but who care we will get it busted search for the videos as you see it in the title fact number one number two number three and thank you very much take care